Hey guys, welcome back to Pleasure Beach. Sorry it's been a while, I've been really busy, but I just thought I'd put a quick video together so at least there's something to watch. So today I wanted to build a wave swinger and I didn't want to just place a wave swinger down and that be that. I wanted to redecorate it, make it really different. And so this idea is completely stolen from Disney California's Adventure and they have a wave swinger there which is up in the air, has some really nice buildings around it, just really decorate it. And I like the fact that it's higher in the air and not at ground level. So, and also um, with that idea, I've also included um, some ideas from other parks that I've been to and I thought maybe I'd put some shops and things underneath the ride and uh, just make it a bit fancy and have this more as like an entrance focus point. Also in this Pleasure Beach, I want to have a feel that some of the rides have been there longer than some of the others. Um, if you've been to Blackpool, you notice that some of the rides there are a lot older than some of the newer ones. Um, for example, like the Grand National and the, um, the Flying Rocket ride that's near the entrance. Um, they have been there a lot, lot longer than say um, Infusion and Icon, for example. And so I want to kind of create that feel in the park as well. So this may be an older ride that would have been there way before maybe the vertical drop roller coaster or the log flume that I've built in the past episodes. So that's something that I'm going to try and continue throughout the park. But that is basically what is the idea behind this attraction. So I'm just going to decorate it using some kind of muted colours, the greens and the beige and the brown. This is also something that I stole from Disneyland. Um, I'm using the Disneyland version as a reference and uh, just trying to recreate it in a way, but put my own little things on. And obviously you have to change how things are in the game with the isometric view and with the way the pieces work on the grid. Um, as you can see there, I just put down some uh, diagonal roof pieces. At the moment, they are not available in the game as they are from the Shy Guys 4 set, but that will be coming out onto Steam soon. I did actually speak to Shy Guy and um, he said that his uh, set uh, three and four will be coming out in the next few months on Steam. So I, I can't actually really continue with this park until those sets have come out because I've actually used quite a lot of pieces from them already in the park. So if I load the park up, those pieces that I've used from those sets disappear. So I just have to wait for them to be on the Steam Workshop and then I can continue with the park. It is nearly finished. I just have quite a few details to add in and I wanna make sure the diagonal roofs and that, that I've used are, are back in the game before I release it onto the workshop. So also with this ride, I wanted to put in some other little aspects of other rides of this style. So one of them being um, the Wave Swinger at Fantasyland actually has water fountains all around the bottom and they squirt up when the chairs go over them. You don't actually get wet, but you it creates like a wave effect as you go around and they get higher and lower. Obviously that's not actually possible to that amount of detail in the game, but I do want to include some maybe water fountains around the bottom of the ride, um, just to give it like some near miss water kind of um, experience going on. So I put the ride into test mode and just paused it there, just so I can see where the chairs are swinging out to. And uh, so as I'm building, I'm not going to get any collisions. Of course, I do make some mistakes and I put some things where chairs actually do hit it, like the entrance um, kind of cover that I built over the path, which I'll do in a sec. I actually change that a little bit and uh, make sure the chairs don't hit there. And I also actually build these big fancy light poles around the ride. And then once I finished all of them, I realized that the chairs hit them. So I had to delete those and redo them. Um, but I'll show you me building them anyway. Uh, even though it's wrong, I do edit that. And unfortunately in this episode, I don't have any screenshots at the end of the video because as I said before, the diagonal roof pieces and that are disappearing at the moment. So I need to wait for those to come back on the workshop. So if I take screenshots at the moment of the game, there's pieces missing that I've used. And so the, they don't look very good or what I've done doesn't look finished or anything. So I'm just gonna leave that for now until those pieces are back again. But I'm gonna try and get some more videos out in the next uh, few weeks. I've been a bit behind recently. Um, Hence why this video is a little bit shorter than normal. But thanks very much for watching. I'm going to let you now watch me continue building this attraction. 
If you've not subscribed already, click the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. And if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, then just feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll answer it as quick as I can. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.